there will be a special believers banquet for all those who gave their lives to Christ during this crusade on Sunday, 1st September 2024 in all the churches globally. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Alpha Locations Believer Banquet on Sunday, like I've told us, 1st September 2024. The venue for the banquet is all over. And as you come, the Lord will bless you. Those of you that are sitting, you'll be preparing yourself because tonight, the Lord will locate you. Counselors, please make sure you move around. Those who cannot write, you assist them. Now that you have given your life to Jesus, no more telling lies. But tell them the truth. Your name, your address, where you are living. If you have given your life the first, second day, third day, don't need to give your name again. Thank God for those who are praying. You will not miss your miracle tonight. Counsel us be fast. Once you get set, you raise up the flag. Remember, tomorrow, Tuesday morning, is the final finale of ministers' conference through professionals. You cannot miss it. Today was great. Tomorrow will be fantabulous. Make sure you invite your friends. Tomorrow morning, by 7.30, don't miss it. Then in the evening, Tuesday, is the crusade, the last day of the crusade. I will invite my friends. Can you tell your neighbor? I will invite my friends, my neighbors, because tomorrow you dare not miss it. Counsel us. If you are true where you are, can you raise the flag up so that I will see? Please be fast. At the very back, make sure we reach there. By my right hand side, if you are finished, can you raise the flag up? Let me see. Just be getting ready. Tonight, there will be the reign of power, reign of miracle.
when you are finished, don't leave the place. Just stay with those who have challenges. Because you will see miracle tonight. Stay there with them. Counselors, make sure you touch every area. If they have not come your end, you can signify. On the middle, if you are finished, can you wave the flag? Let me see. Okay. By my left hand side, if you are finished, can you wave the flag? Raise it up. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing this. At the very back, if you are finished, wave that flag. Let me see. Okay. Thank God for those who are praying, preparing themselves. You will receive the touch of God tonight. The very center, can you wave your flag? Let me see. Center. Okay. As our pastor will be coming up now, get ready. Let's stand up together. Amen. Your miracle will reach you there. Healing will reach you there. Deliverance will reach you there. Now is my time. You raise up that hand. Lay the other hand where you have any sickness, any infirmity, impotence, whatever, and the Lord will heal you now. Amen. All by grace, free. You don't pay anything, free. You don't have to go and come. Available right now. And it is yours. Amen. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name. We come with joy. We come with assurance. We come with confidence, knowing that your goodness will not pass us by. Amen. I pray, Lord Jesus, as we went about doing good, healing all, no exception, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. And you're still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do it for your people in Jesus' name. At that time, those who were lying on stretches, they came up. At that time, those who were blind received their sight. Those who had issues with blood or blood, they were cured, they were healed. The same here tonight. Everywhere we're connected together. Send forth your healing virtue on anyone, everyone, in Jesus' name. Yeah. With joy, with trust, we we'll receive our healing. Yeah. We we'll receive our deliverance. Yeah. Blind eyes, 
receive your sight. Brain problem, receive the solution. Swellings in any part of the body, come out in Jesus' name. Deaf ears, dumb tongues, hear and speak in Jesus' name. No incurable disease in the presence of God. Also, be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS, be healed in Jesus' name. And yeah, be healed in Jesus' name. Asthma, be healed in Jesus' name. And all those things walking about in the body, come out in Jesus' name. Destroy all the works of the devil. Sickness of any name, any type, any shape is the work of the devil. Lord Jesus, destroy the works of the devil in everyone, in everybody, in Jesus' name. Here at the Alpha location, Jesus, loving Jesus, compassionate Jesus, touch everyone, heal them. Get them out of that wheelchair. Take the crutches away from them. Give them strength. Give them energy. Give them power to do what they were not able to do before. On my right hand side, healing and deliverance. Center at the front, healing, deliverance. By my left hand side, healing, deliverance for everyone. Online, deliverance. Healing, dominion, victory for everyone. And everyone without exception, the love of God now operates in your life. You have his goodness. You have the reign of righteousness. You have the abundance of the blessing of God. You have completeness of your miracle. He has lifted you up from your sickness, from your infirmity. You are healed. I am healed. Let demonstration, manifestation, performance come to every life right now. In Jesus' name we pray. You got it. I got it. Do what you are not able to do before and demonstrate the manifestation of the power of God in your life. Put your hand together for Jesus. As you are standing there, for you to know that God has done it, you join me because tonight is a night of jubilation, no movement. The Lord has done it finally, finally, finally. The Lord has done it finally, finally, finally. Put your hand together. The Lord has done it finally. Check yourself. The Lord has done it finally, finally, finally. The Lord has done it finally, finally, finally. The Lord has done it finally, finally, finally. As the song is going on, just check yourself. You will see that the Lord has done it. And you start coming out. The Lord has done it finally. Finally, finally. The Lord has done it finally. Finally. Put your hand together. The Lord has done it. Tonight is the lesson. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it finally, finally, finally. The Lord has done it finally, finally, finally. The Lord has done it. Check up yourself and start coming out. As you discover the miracle 
Oh, the Lord has done it finally, finally, finally. Check up yourself. You will know that the thing has happened. Jubilation everywhere. The Lord has done it finally, finally, finally. Start coming out. Aha, uh -huh. it has happened. Start coming out as you check yourself. He has done it finally. The power has been released. The power has been released. Come out, come out. As you check yourself and you see that the miracle has taken place, you come out. Rejoice! Everywhere, rejoice! Glory to God! Oh, the Lord has done it finally. Finally, the miracle. Finally, the deliverance. Finally, the breakthrough. Check up yourself. And as you see the miracle come out, help them to check up. The power has been released. The power has been released. Jubilation everywhere. Glory to God. As you see the miracle come out. The Lord has done it online. Check up yourself. And as you see the miracle, you come out. Glory. They are coming out already. Check up yourself. You will know that it has happened. Glory to God. Check up, check up. Miracle galore. The Lord has done it finally. Finally, finally. Finally. Check up, check up. And start coming out. Bring them out, bring them out as you see the miracle. All over. All over the camp. The power of God has been deposited. Glory to God. Please interview them and get ready. Check up yourself as you see the miracle come out. Counselors, bring them out. Counselors, help them. As you see the miracle, bring them out. All over. Jubilation. The Lord has done it. And it's final. The healing is final. The miracle is final. Amen. Amen. Now check up yourself now. As you see the miracle, you come out. Check up now. Check up. You will see that God has done it. Check up now. And those who have come out, the interviewers, interview them, please. You have seen the, as you see the miracle, just come out. Come out, come out. Because the Lord has done it. Your miracle is guaranteed. Say amen. Orchestra, give us while they are coming out. Check up yourself because the Lord has done it. You believe? Shout amen. amen. I say if you believe, say amen. amen. Then check up yourself as it, as it happened, you just come out.
Bring them out. Assist them. Then as you see it happen, bring them out. Check up, check up. Check up everywhere. Check up, check up. The power has been released. As you see it happen, bring them out. The people interviewing them, if you are set, you will let me know. Rejoice! You cannot go the same. You cannot go the same. Glory to God. Jubilation everywhere. Check up. As you see it happen, you come out. Check up! As you see it happen, you come out. We are waiting for you. to go. In Amen. Online. Let's listen to online. If you recall, on the third day of this global crusade, the man of God said, at the final amen, all your infirmities, challenges will disappear. We'll bring you this testimony from Facebook. Victor Obotu says, praise the Lord. The Lord delivered me from um, pain. He said, I'd be having pains in my left eye. It had persisted for many years. During the prayer, when the pastor asked us to place our hands where we have our challenge is, he said, he placed his hands on his eyes during the man of God's prayer. He said, after the final amen, the pain went straight to oblivion. He said, he slept and woke up like a baby. No more pains on his left eyes anymore. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Also coming in from the GS Facebook page, Akperel Gene has his testimony. The Lord healed my brain. Whenever I read, I quickly forget. But through the prayers of the man of God, my brain is restored. Praise God. Praise God. From the DCLM YouTube channel, Sunday, Adekalu says, I am from Ondo State. I had a sharp pain in my left chest. On Thursday, after the prayers of the man of God, the pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John Bosco from Oyo State, Nigeria is testifying. He says, I was battling with diabetes and ulcer, but after the prayers of the man of God, I was completely healed. Now I am free. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Coming in from Ogun State, Nigeria, Ilaro Comfort has this testimony. 
God has healed me of chronic bad breath for 23 years. On Friday, after the prayer of the man of God, it was gone. Glory be to God. From Ikere region, thanks be to God for salvation of my soul and how I got my healing from hand stiffness on Thursday evening. I can easily move it now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Franka Anna from our DCLM YouTube channel says, Indeed, Jesus is in this crusade. In fact, yesterday I was delivered from depression. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Also coming in from the DCLM YouTube channel, Godwin Abigail has this testimony. Praise the Lord. I have been experiencing pain in my right eye for days now. Precisely the fourth day in the evening, after the prayers of the man of God, I received my healing. Praise God. More testimonies coming from the online audience as we return to the officiating overseer. Praise the Lord. The orchestra now give us some song. <laughs> Have the testimony. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Dr. Omar Ibuegono is my name. We have some testifiers here, and we pray that you'll be blessed as you hear these testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Our first testifier is. Grace Owigowara. Can we hear your testimony? Praise the Lord. My name is Owigowara Grace. I'm from Ongeli region. I want to check the grace of God in my life. Since before I came to this crusade, I have a stomach pain. But after the prayer of the man of God, I am healed. Praise the Lord. Amen. So our Testifier actually developed a condition that can be referred to as acute abdominal pain a few days before the GCK. And on the first day, after the prayer of the man of God, she was healed, and since then, no pain anymore. Put your hand together for Jesus. It's permanent. The next. Praise thy Lord, everybody. I thank God for my life. Since my father invited me to this place, I was having ulcers since two weeks. And I said, ah, if I came to this crusade, everything will not, nothing will follow me back home. So that was on Friday. Pastor now pray for ulcer. Pray for ulcer that anyone that have ulcer, you know, every, every ulcer spirit in our body or in his body will left our, him. And I said, God, as I came here, I will not go back the same. So when Pastor was praying, the thing now looks like something that is eating me up. I say, ah, God, am I going to go ask with this pain? I say, no, I will not go home back with this pain. So that was day for yesterday. I was feeling say, light pain, not like that before, because if I want to eat, I will be afraid. If I, if I eat, I will be afraid. My mom will not even sleep the day I tell her that I want to collapse. And I say, God forbid. So since they say now, hey, what an, what an answer, hey, anyone that have ulcer, that God will deliver her for the ulcer. And I put my hand there. Anywhere that I know that it's paining you, you should put your hand. 
So I now leave my hand on my stomach. So the thing now, do like something like warm, that turning around, turning around. If I know everything left me, I'm, I f- I'm free right now. I'm not feeling no sir. If I want to eat, I have freedom to eat. I have freedom, freedom to do anything. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. It's gone and gone forever. Amen. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Gostai Mokariko. I'm from Burutu region. I really want to give God all the thanks for all he has done in our lives. Last month on the 23rd, my son had an accident that caused him his ties got broken. He was tied. Even at, at, at that time, the both legs were not equal again. So all this why we do carry him. If he want to ease himself or anything, we carry him. When we came for this crusade, we even brought him here. After the prayer of the man of God, we, I tested him he should walk. He was able to walk the first day. But he fell, he still walked. But yesterday, he lost the aid that was tied on his leg. He said, Mommy, I can't walk. See my boy today, he can't walk. I want to thank God for what God has done for him. Praise the Lord! Put your hand together for Jesus. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we can see that this child sustained fracture of the femur and by the mother's faith, persisting in believing, the child today received his healing and it shall be permanent. And it's permanent. Are you tired of clapping for Jesus? Wonderful. The next. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Blessing Igwe. I'm from New Camp Legion. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I thank God for what God did in my life. Since Thursday, I'm having severe headache. I believe God that I will not buy medicine. God will heal me. I said, let me come today and receive my healing. After the prayer of daddy, I receive my healing. Praise the Lord. Another, testify, another testimony is about my brother. How God saved my brother. My brother is not born again. Somebody told me that he will kill my brother. I told the person, you lie, because God is with us. Then my brother called me that he's sick. I said, brother, pray. I'm praying for you. Nothing will happen to you. He said, okay, I'm praying. So at the end, nothing happened to my brother. He called me and told me that he's now a born again. He's now a deeper life member then I glorify God. Not only member of deeper life, it's evangelist. He preaching the word of God. Praise Master Jesus. Put your hand together. That's the greatest miracle. So our testifier was healed of a type of headache that we could describe as migraine or tension headache. And so she received her healing. Then for our brother... He received the greatest miracle that could happen to any individual. Double miracle. Let's listen to the song before we continue. Join them and rejoice. You are singing your own well happen. Sorry. 
Let's have one more here before we listen to online. So our next testifier is Miss Mercy William. Let's listen to our testimony. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Mercy Williams. I came all the way from Kaduna for this GCK, me and my mom. Um, early this year, three years ago actually, when I was in SS2, I developed a pain around my lower abdomen region and around my ribs, my ribs region here and behind me. I was feeling that pain, but the pain persisted. We went to the doctor and the doctor described some drugs for me, of which I bought. I took them all, but, see, but it, was, it was to no avail. So after that one, I went back home. The pain was so excruciating to the extent when it starts, I will faint. So that day I slumped in the bathroom and they rushed me to the hospital. So the hospital described, um, prescribed us to another hospital in Kaduna. When we went there, they said we should go and do scan. We did scan, they said it was ovarian cyst. So when we went to Kaduna, the doctor there said I should go for another scanning. When I went for another scanning there, the scan showed that my right kidney was swollen. So I brought it to the doctor and, and I went for another scan again, the third scan. All three, this, it was different. The third one said I had appendicitis. So I came back home. I was worried. The doctor said they were going to operate, operate on me. And when they saw the, the thing, they were so confused and they prescribed drugs for me that I should go and come back on Wednesday. And on Thursday was the global crusade. That was when the global crusade was starting. So my parents decided that instead of me to go for operation, that they believe and they have faith when we come here, and I also had faith that immediately I stepped my feet into this campground, God will heal me. And brethren, I came to this, I came to this um, campground on Thursday when I came. I prayed, I said, God, I don't want to go back to Kaduna the same way I came. And when I came, brethren, on Saturday, which was on 24th, my birthday, during the impact, I just was praying, God healed me. I did not even know the pain, the swollen that was there. I couldn't feel it. It was during the GCK. I came back in the evening. My mom was asking me, ah, Mercy, what of the pain you were feeling? I said, I'm no longer feeling it. The swollen, everything disappeared. God healed me. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hand together for Jesus. <laughs> Wonderful. The Lord is great. So our testifier had given complaints that in the case she had what looks like a kidney stone, the kind of pain she's describing, that's a renal stone. And then the ovarian cyst as confirmed by the ultrasound and what she comes that there was a swelling in her right lower abdomen. But after the prayer of the man of God, the pain has disappeared and the swelling that was there has also gone. The name of God be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Kidney stone gone forever. Online. Indeed, the Lord is breaking ground in the online space. Listen as we bring you these testimonies from the online audience. From the DCLM YouTube page. Mary Ulubenga testifies, I've been having pain on my left leg and not been able to walk since yesterday. But after the prayer of the man of God, the pain in my left leg disappeared. She can walk now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Also coming in from the YouTube channel, we have Gay Y testifies, the Lord has healed my daughter from Anemia, thank you, Jesus. 
coming in from the DLBC Facebook page. John Ike testifies, praise God, ulcer and arthritis pain gone today after the prayer of the great man of God, Papa Kumuyi. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is coming from Victoria Adeumi. She testifies, I had a terrible pain on my left eye. I could not look at the screen during the GCK tonight. But after the prayers of the man of God, I can see clearly. Praise God. Yes, indeed, the God of possibilities is doing so many things in the online space. But stay on as we bring you more testimonies online. Meanwhile, we we'll return to the moderating overseer. Let's have two more. Okay, don't worry. So our next testifier is Mrs. Aterizi Charity. Let's listen to our testimony. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As the doctor have said, my name is Sister Teresa Charity <coughs> from Isoko region, Ozora precisely. My testimony goes like this. 2018, I, was, I discovered that there was a kind of swollen in my buttocks. So I, I was taking this ordinary boy. So I, I took uh, self-medication and there was no avail until... And I went to the doctor and it was operated, yet there was no, it came back again. It didn't even take up to three days. And I suffered it for a good seven years. After one of the GCK this year, the Lord delivered me. Praise thy Lord. Hallelujah. Then the second one is about a last month GCK. When, I was about, when we were about to prepare for it, when we were preparing for the GCK, a week to the uh, crusade, I discovered that there was a kind of sharp pain in my right side abdomen. The pain was so severe, I was praying and there were, I told God that, God, I have no money to go to hospital. And you will deliver me as so long the, the uh, GCK is coming up. And that was how God did it. After the prayer of, of the man of God, before the GCK gets finished, everything disappeared. Praise the Lord. The third one is when, when we came on the 19th, we came for practice. On the 21st, I, I felt sick. I, we were pray, I, I, I was praying. My, some of my brethren were also praying with me. And that was how God visited me. And the, as the, the GCK started, God gave me divine healing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hand together for Jesus. Our God is great. So our sister has testified that she had a swelling on her left buttocks that was operated but came back. The fact that this swelling came back tells us that uh, it's a serious issue. Uh, even though she was not told the diagnosis, but from the medical point of view, when a swelling is removed and it comes back, then it means it's something of concern to the doctors, but by the healing power of God, the swelling disappeared completely. Then she also testifies of a pain in her right lower abdomen. That could actually um, be related to pain that comes from the appendix. And appendix is one of the causes of such kind of pain. So it could have been an acute appendicitis, but through prayers, she was healed of that pain. May the name of God be blessed and be praised. Amen. Sister is gone and gone forever. Amen. Let's listen to this some songs. <laughs> Our God is great. Please 
listen to the last one. Okay, our testifier is Adekegba Melody. Can we listen to our testimony? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Adekegba Melody from Isoko region, Utlo district. I want to testify about the goodness of God in my life. It developed like, this early this year. I couldn't see very well. Even if I'm at the front, also in the church, I couldn't see very well. Very short I am sighted. But I came here Thursday after the prayer of the man of God. God healed my eyesight. Now I can even sit down at the back and still see the writing from the screen very clearly. And also my second testimony is after... Um, on Friday after the GCK, we were about to enter the bus. But because of how they were rushing, so most of the bus, they left me and my friend. So we we're going, we said we should trek. So why going? Because where we are camping here, where we are located is Federal Government College. So why going? We entered the bus and the bus dropped us at our ladies. So we started trekking, not knowing that we we're coming back to Robo College. So we were so confused. So when going back, we stopped. Um, um, a little um, but that is Keke and he said we should enter we said do you know the place that we are going he said we should enter and why we entered into the um, bus the Keke so he took us to a very pl um, a place called Ghetto we don't really know that place we didn't know so I, my spirit was telling him that tell the, um, the, this, the Keke to stop so I tell him to stop that let's ask questions on the place we are going to so I stopped and I asked questions they said this is not the way so I started asking questions, and the rain was falling at that time. And by his grace, by the Lord's grace, my friend, she was holding a calendar of GS. She was not saying, God of Kumui, please help us. We don't want to be lost. God of Kumui, please help us. Even me, I was even losing hope. And I held my dad, uh, minister's conference card that is anointed for anti grace service. I was not saying, God, I came to this GCK and I will never be lost. The way I came, I will never go back the same and I will never be lost. I will still come from the impact. So under the rain, I was shaking very well and when we were begging the man, the man said we should give him 2,000 naira. We said we don't have 2,000 naira. It's only 1,000. So I was praying that God, please touch then his heart. Happened? Then that is how God touched his heart. He took us back to where we came from. Then my third testimony is during this minister conference today, this, this morning, Whenever the judge is always preaching, I'm always fearful. Even if he's praying, I'll always doubt. But today, God took that fear out of my heart, and now I am free. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So our sister testified of being healed of short-sightedness. She could not see things that were far from her. But after the prayer of the man of God, her sight was restored. And she was also delivered from the hands of uh, bad uh, boys around as God was able to take her back to her place of lodging. And then she received faith from God that took away fear from her heart. May the name of the Lord be praised. Amen. Can you give, give us something to read? You will count my finger. Two fingers, three, four, five. Put your hand together for Jesus. Let's stand up and pray together. Let's stand up. Please give us one music more to exalt this God. Let's thank the Lord for what he has done for us this night. Exalt his holy name.
Let's bless the name of the Lord. This God is great. This God is mighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for what you have done tonight. Thank you for who you are and what you have done already. Lord, your people have received your touch. You have healed them. You have delivered them. You have saved them. Now, as they are going to their various homes, you will go with them. Amen. Even this night, you will be with them. Amen. And when they wake up, there will be testimony for them. I pray, oh Lord, everyone that have received your touch, make it permanent in their lives. Amen. Lord, for your servant you have used, bless him, refill him. Amen. And that tomorrow morning, it will be great. Thank you, Lord. As your people will be going now, go with them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you all. Sage. All things have become new. When you give your life to the Lord tonight, you'll be converted and it will make you complete. He takes away all the old and he brings every new, branch new. Your life tonight, as Christ takes hold of you, will make you brand new in Jesus' name. become new when you give your life to the Lord tonight you'll be converted and it will make you complete he takes away all the old and he brings every new branch new your life tonight as Christ takes hold of you, will make you brand new in Jesus' name.